In this video we'll be looking at using lattice graphics to create surface plots in the R statistical software package. To demonstrate this type of plot we'll be making use of a data set which is stored in the GOR package. Now this data set has information about surface elevation data measured at 52 locations within a grid. So the data stores the x, y coordinates of each measurement which are multiples of 50 feet as well as the elevation at that particular pair of coordinates and the elevation is stored as heights as multiples of 10 feet. So first things first we make the GOR package available in our session and then make the elevation data object available for our use. So the first thing we want to do is to change this data object into an object which we can use to fit a local trend surface. So we're going to create an object, we'll copy across the code from another window. So we're saving this as a data frame elevation.df. We're using the data dot frame function to create the object and we've got three columns x, y and z. So what we're doing for each of those are extracting the relevant column of data from the elevation object and then multiplying it by 50 feet for the x and y coordinates and 10 feet for the z which is showing the height. To run that command we can take a quick look at say the first 10 lines of our data by using the square brackets to indicate we want rows 1 to 10. So now what we're going to do is to fit a local trend surface and it's a local quadratic trend surface that we're going for by making use of the lowest function. So the lowest function takes a formula so we specify the heights, the z variable and then x star y is indicating how we want to put together the x and y coordinates in this model. The degree equals 2 indicates we want to go up to second order terms. So we run that command and we have an object which um, represents that fitted model, the lowest model. So then what we want to do is to consider well what values do we want to predict against? Well we're going to produce this local trend surface in a plot across a regular region of x and y coordinates and those x and y coordinates are going to run from 100 to 300 feet at intervals of 5 feet. So we're going to make use of the expand.grid function and we produce a list of in this case two objects the x and y coordinates of interest and then the expand.grid will go through and work out various combinations of those two variables. So here we can see it loops through the um, x coordinate going 10, 15, 20 and so on while holding the y coordinate fixed. And once it reaches 300 feet it will cycle through um, the same set of x coordinates but by shifting up y to 15 feet in this case. So now what we can do is we've got this grid of values where we want to predict what the surface is in terms of height so we'll make use of the predict function which is a generic function and as we specify lowest model the elevation dot lowest that we saved earlier it will work out what it needs to do to get the predictions and the new data argument is used just to specify a series of x and y coordinates that we've just created the expand dot grid function against which we want to get a height prediction for all of these we save that as a variable z now what we want to do is actually append it as an additional column to our elevation.fit object. So we use the as numeric function to get rid of the structure that's provided to the uh, um, output from predicting against the lowest model. So we add this to the elevation.fit object by creating a column height. So if we use the up arrow and look again, we'll now see we've got predicted heights for each of those combinations of the x and y coordinates. So as we're making use of lattice graphics we load up the graphic, lattice graphics package and we're going to be using the function wireframe which creates wireframe surfaces. So here we've got a number of different arguments are used. First up we specify the formula which tells us the z variable is going to be the height and then the x and y variables are used for the x and y coordinates. The data argument tells the function where to look for the data, so we specify data frame there. Xlab and Ylab are used to specify the 
axis labels for the x and y axis and I'll notice there that some additional text appears to have gone in there so if we resubmit that command without that text so we'd had some extra um, characters put into that particular label which weren't required so then we have the main which specifies the title for the graph so surface elevation data and then various other arguments such as color key which puts in if we drag the graph across here a color key on the axis and then drape is to do with how the surface is actually plotted the screen option allows us to rotate the particular angle that we're looking at on the surface.